guys? Got a customer car in the house today. Jared did a full uh, catback exhaust. The customer took off a Yannicka exhaust to put on a Skunk 2. I guess it's a little bit too loud, but I think the Skunk 2's mate sound the same, but we do a comparison B-Series versus K-Series. First time B-Series is in the house, huh? I've been wanting to see this car in person. It looked really, really clean online. The car is super The car looked great on Instagram. Uh, it looks honestly better in person than it did in photos. We'll give you guys a quick walk around the car. Is that the Pretty same same front? Is that the same uh, brand front lip? Same brand, but different style. Is that a first molding? Uh, no, I think somebody else made it, but he's the right person for first molding. It's got the same uh, same headlights, CTR headlights. This car is this car is mint. So you got carbon fiber hoods, CTR headlights. It's nice to see them both together because people wanted us to put these wheels on our car, but they get, now they get to see the car with the wheels on it. So this is our K swap. You know, okay, you can pop the hood. Uh, this is our K swap EM1 that we built here in house. This thing is nice. I kind of like his carbon fiber hood. You know what he said? What'd he say? He likes the he red? Said he likes the red. He's going to put his red stuff back on. <laughs> I don't, yo, I don't know. I really love his wheels though. The wheels with the uh, Willowwood red. Uh, calipers, it looks super, super good. You know what I like about this car? What does oh. this car bring back memories to? Our the old, the one we had back in like 2010. Well, you, you I think your ratchet days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I know you ain't talking. You no, know, the crazy part is it has a Type R swap in it. Yeah, this is, a, this, is, this is actually my first time seeing the bay. The car, right. you know what people are going to say on YouTube, right? We should stay busy. For us to take notes. Oh, <laughs> right? no, you, no, you, 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 you I'm guys. When I popped the hood, I was like, damn. Yo, this, 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 shit just looks this nice. setup right here is exactly what we had. We had the, um, it's called the Password JDM whale penis, carbon whale penis. Carbon intake. Um, we had the high techs. These are high tech, these are like a replica of the high techs uh, from back in the day. So this car brings back a lot of memories. It's got a lot of titanium, like. Hardware. Yes. Yeah, I've never seen before. Power steering cap, titanium. It's crazy. Type R strut bar. He even got the strut bolts. This thing is nice. Mortis, uh, it's got a ported, this is a ported stock type R manifold. You got a welded. If I were to, this is like. This car is clean. It's got like June cams and all that stuff. This is like as old as you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I have a soft spot for stuff like so that. So this is old school, that's new school. Yo, this, this car is clean. So this is the engine bay. Yo, everything is titanium. I'll bring the customer in real quick and we'll kind of go with the This shit is badass. The, the wheels. Yo Jordan, give me one thing. Hold on. Give me one thing. Favorite car. Favorite part about this car. I just like the overall cleanliness. It's like you don't see shit like this normally on the street, like other than our own. But it's nice to see something. So I appreciate you for that. What's up, bro? What's Owner of the B Series EM1. What's your name? Sir, Dennis. Dennis. Yes, this car is clean. Thank super you. super clean. Thank you. I was just telling them I like the carbon fiber hood. They said you like the red hood. You know, after seeing your guys with the red hood, it makes me miss it. I've had the carbon on here for so long. How long have you owned the car? Uh, almost 15 years. 15 years. Yeah. Man, this thing is clean. Did you get it stock? Pretty much. Yeah, it was lightly modded. Um, had some coilovers, things like that. Stock V16, which uh, originally had failed. So I had swapped it to a. Uh, regular JDM Type R, had that in for a while, that needed to rebuild, and then a couple years ago I put in a built Type R. This thing is nice, like you did a great job on this engine bay. What does it make, what does it make for power? 215 at the wheel. S300 I'm assuming? Yes. That's really good power. Are you made what, 230? Yeah, I think a, two, a little over 230 our car made. Does it make you want to go K-Series? <laughs> I want to stay true to the car, I want to keep a B-Series. Yeah. You know? You and every, everyone else on YouTube loves the B series. I love the B series too. Know, the B series I mean, is great. K is just the new way. Yeah. You can make a lot more power for a lot. I'll tell you what, if you'd have left the car a little bit longer to do the exhaust, you might have got a K series in here when you came and picked it up. <laughs> you guys want to talk me into it? <laughs> Let's check out the interior on here. Yeah, the, hold up. The wheel setup, honestly, is my favorite on the car. Like, probably my favorite thing. The wheel setup with the Willowwood brakes. Really, really nice. So, this is actually S2000 uh, steering wheel. Floor mats, OEM, Recaro seats just like our car. I like the armrest that you did. Looks really, really good. It looks like almost identical to our car. They are. Uh, the carbon trunk. Love the plate. Is that a real plate? <laughs> yeah, it's a plate. 
<laughs> Yo, check his plate out. Check the back out. ASR subframe brace. Got a nice sway bar down there. Why did you uh, take the exhaust off? So, so when I had swapped it over and I got it tuned with a three-inch Yonaka, I just I didn't like the way it sounded. It's too raspy. Uh -huh. So I wanted something with a bit deeper tone, something that sounded a bit better. So I decided to go with the Skunk too. Okay. Yeah, I haven't heard one yet. We haven't even turned it on yet, but. Oh, man, I can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> but check out this car and then check out our car. This is what our car would look like with a carbon trunk, rear lip, and then no rear lip, regular trunk. It looks different. This car looks a little bit more like raced out, like you know, in the, in the rear, because carbon trunk. But this car is clean. Like, it's hard to pick up on camera, but this thing is mint. I just have to say for the record, SI is with no wing. SI with no wing? You might get some hate comments for that, because like. And this was a factory no wing car as well. So I have the original trunk, the hood, everything. Was that was the wing an option back in 2000? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like if I would have went to the dealer and bought one of these, I think I would have got I would have got the wing. But all all my SIs back in high school had no wing on them. No wing. I think I even drilled I drilled my trunk when I was 16 to put a. To, <laughs> yeah, it was. You know, I drilled the trunk and I didn't know that I I didn't know shit like that much about cars, right? The SI has like those holes underneath. I, my ass drilled it from the top, not knowing that the bottom already had holes. It had like preset holes. Mine was like a little bit crooked. <laughs> my shit did not line up, now. Nah. Uh, you want to start it up? Sure. Uh, I want to I hear what it's going to sound like. I can't wait. This is going to be your first startup on the new Skunk 2 exhaust. You put a 3 inch? Yo, hold. Oh, in the next lagged. Time we do, we're gonna build it. That sounds great. What, you said SI with a Type R? Yeah. Yeah, um, we might. You know what the crazy part is? Type R swaps, I think it was like almost somewhere around like six or seven grand. We now. sold, we, we sold. More than a case lock. We sold a Type R swap, I think, recently for like six grand. Yeah. Really? And back when I had built my EM1, I paid six grand shipped to my door for a K20R swap, complete swap. Yeah, back in the day, probably. Yeah, this was back, I think, like 08, right? Yeah. Yeah, back then it'd be like 3,500, four grand. I'll be axles, ECU, yeah. a harness. Yeah, I think it was just under five. Yeah, like I'd expect from JDM Engine Depot. Yeah. So what year? What year is this engine? Oh, this is a 98 spec. 90s, the good one. Yes. Yeah. This car is badass. Let's pull. Let's pull them outside and check them outside. I like the carbon. I don't know. Both front lips. I, I would put either or on my car. I've seen this one all the time. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Can we build a B series now? This is honestly looking at your car makes me want to build a B series. Do all the titanium I stuff to it. Like an actually clean B series. Like you know, they all they leak oil, whatever, dusty valve covers. That shit is like fresh. Yeah. You did you did a real good job with the engine bay. It's it's very hard for me to say that too because like we get a lot of cars that come into the shop, right? And a lot of them are not clean. Like they're not like well well put together, you know. This this is executed real nice. Man, that thing looks so good. Not gonna lie, this little shift thing should feel a little weird to me. <laughs> uh, shift cables. Does that mean we're not building a V series? <laughs> <laughs> this car is clean.
<laughs> yeah, how'd you hear about the shop? Oh, I've been watching you guys for a while. You know, the cars you guys build are unbelievable. Thanks, and thanks. seeing them in person. It see doesn't, it, video, it doesn't give me justice. You gotta see him in person there. It's a different person. story, right? Absolutely. I wish I could capture it on camera, but it's, it's tough. It's like super tough. Yeah, you, know, you guys do awesome work, awesome builds. Again, how, how long you had this car for? Almost 15 years. 15. Yeah. I don't know if I can keep, have I had a car that long? No, I don't think, I still oh. Have my first car. I do, my car over there, the front wheel drive. That's the longest I've ever had a car. Yeah, I've had my, uh, I got a 98 customized turbo launch neon. 22. That car is a lot quieter. I don't know, maybe B series is it. No, I don't, B series might not be it. I'm, I'm getting old, bro. This thing is, this thing is kind of quiet. Why, uh, why have you never went like five lug? You know, just, just, uh, just a question. I just wanted to keep it four. Just wanted to. I'm not gonna lie, the car looks fucking great. You know what? We have a two and a half inch exhaust. That's why. You have a three inch, right? Yeah. yeah. Drop in the comments. Drop in the comments what car you like B series, K series. I like his car. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Which car if you had the option to choose the K car, the take home turnkey, or the B series car turnkey, because they look pretty much damn, damn near identical. Which car are you taking? Also, I, I want to ask you, like, I know you view the cars, you view our videos and stuff like that. What do you think about the car in person? Oh, it's um, a lot of people don't get to see the cars that we build. It kind of sucks because you know, on videos, one thing and seeing a car in person, is another thing. Like it looks super clean in the video. I've seen it in person. Yeah, it's flawless. Yeah, the paint quality like came out really good, right? <laughs> Even your car. We seen your car thing on your Instagram, and then we seen it in person. Like your car is like super, super clean. Yeah. And these cars. I'm gonna keep it nice and <laughs> Yo, I love the wheels. The wheels. The black looks good, but the green just the green just pops like a lot, a lot it's more. Different. It, it is. Really, and it splits up the black with the carbon. What are, uh, you know the specs on the wheels? Uh, 16 by 7 plus 38. 16 by 7 plus 30. It fits really good. 205, 45, 16. We went with a 215, a little, a little meteor fitment, right. but I don't know. I really like your fitment. It looks really, really, it's flush. Car looks good. Damn. Makes me want to get a B-Series car now. <laughs> And how, how long, you drove this here, right? Yeah. How long you drive? Um, you drive? About an hour and 35, hour 40 minutes. So from the Gibson. Street car? Yes. Yeah. Probably really good on gas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this thing is clean. You got the GoPro set up on the Recaro. I like the Circuit Pro on the shifter. Really, really nice. Yeah, can we build a B Series? Let's pop that engine bay one more time. <laughs> one more time. Every time you pop that hood, it just brings back memories. That's, that's why I like it so much. And I think that I appreciate these cars because this is like where we started from, you know? Yeah. Took a lot of time in here too. Looks really good. We have one of these in the back too that we saved. I like to keep like stuff like... Yeah. Yeah, you know, right Can we take it for a ride? You want to go for a ride? Sure. Yeah, let's go take him for a spin. You wanna go with him? Oh, I'll give you the camera, you can go with him. Let's go for a spin. And then he'll give you a ride in the K1. Alright? Sounds good. I'm honestly kind of nervous to have him give you a ride. <laughs> wanna know why? Because after you come back, you might want to put a K-Series uh, in your car. <laughs> so, fair warning, All before right. you get into the car, you might want to put a K series in your car after you get in the other I'm car. I'm not gonna lie, there's nothing like a B series V Tech though. When that V Tech screams in a B series, it's like. I don't know. You know what might be the flip side to that though? What? When they come back, we might put a B series in that. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Right? I like that. Yeah. He's gonna win this battle. I, like that. I don't know. I know K is the way, so I know who's winning this battle for sure. Alright, let's go. Yeah, let's go for All a right. ride. <laughs> I didn't even hear how it sounded it before. It was tinny and raspy. Oh, okay. Most different. 
It sounds like a, a true type R. Yes. There you go, riding the K-Series. Might Let's see what it's like. Anybody got a K-Swap, hit him up. He might swap his B-Series out. <laughs> <laughs> B-Series is fun and all, but yeah. this just makes it like a lot more fun. It just makes you want to get on it all the time. Every nice. turn, every turn you take, and just want to pull all the time. Blows the tires right off. Yeah. That's that torque doing that, absolutely. <laughs> Where's the red line at? Uh, almost nine grand. I think they have enough to take us home. Nine grand. Nine grand, wow. So you guys just got back from the test ride. Yes. I gave him a nice little one-two punch. Now if you were to take which car, right? If I gave you an option, take which car are you going home in? Who's a better salesman here? <laughs> K-Series or B-Series? You know, the torque of the K-Series is a very big difference. You feel that first, second gear wants to ignite the tires. But I don't know, man. I'm B-Series. Oh. 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 It's pretty loud, yeah. You came out. You came. You came out of the car with a smile on your face, though. <laughs> I just love Casey. <laughs> I love but, it too. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. I love it, but. but I want you guys to comment below which car, which car would you pick? You guys like the carbon hood? Should we put a carbon hood on ours, or should he put a red hood back on his? <laughs> um, do you guys like the B series over the K series? You know, and how do you guys feel about the wheels? I know they want to see the wheels on the car before. That setup is so perfect. Yeah. I, I, I like the wheels. I like that whole setup. Yeah. Like, I think that setup, what I would do is that same exact setup. It's red trunk. Um, and I think that's, that's pretty much it. Maybe a CTR mirrors I would do. Or, I don't know, but the car is set up really, really nice. Either way. But, thanks for coming out. Appreciate you. Thank you, guys. Car looks amazing. Thank you.